there's not a fisherman in the world that doesn't like the water, right? You see the kite just sitting under this thing, following it, following it. You're watching everything happen and everything that you do relaying through that frog is making that fish react. You can go wherever you want and throw a frog and it has applied to every fishery I've ever stepped foot on. You can't draw a comparison between between what, what a frog can do and what any other technique can do. At this stage of us fishing, yeah. I've never seen anything that, that does what that does. That, that catches fish as efficiently and effectively <laughs> as what a frog can do. And there isn't a, a fisherman in the world, it doesn't matter what you're chasing, if you're chasing bass, pike, like cod, it doesn't matter, there's not a fisherman in the world that you'd ask what their favourite bite is and they'd go past the top of the bite. That feeling that you get when you are sitting there watching your top water walk across the surface, the anticipation that builds from that is so far beyond anything else. Like, it's heart in your throat waiting for something to go down, and when it goes down, it's insane. They sit there looking for it. They're like, where, where to go? Where to yeah. go? You know, you're like, bring it on. Like, what, what happened to that thing? And then they're just like, oh, it's back again. Just boom. Got him. We started seeing fish do things that we've just never seen them do before at times of day. They're not supposed to do it. That lure has changed the way that we fish for cod. Absolutely. And over the last five years, it has completely changed the way that we fish nearly all of our baits, purely off what that has, has shown us. Oh, damn, damn, damn. And there's still a place in every cod fisherman's arsenal for traditional pop wood, but the big difference is how versatile a frog is compared to that traditional top water in not only where you can put it and how you can work it, but what you're trying to represent with that from the presentation. You can vary it cast to cast. Yeah, really, exactly. You really can. You can one cast you can be trying to imitate a, a bait fish, you know, out in that open water and, and chasing those moving moving through their, their I suppose feeding area out in the middle to swapping it up to, you know, imitating an eagle creature right up in their habitat. Yeah. Dropping out of trees, frogs, everything. Yep. You know, that is whatever you want it to be. You make it what you want it to be in the water. Use it how you want, walk it, yeah. glide it through the water. With a tool like a frog, you get so much information delivered every time you see a fish. Because you get the response, you get the walk straight to everything that happens. You're watching everything happen and everything that you do relaying through that frog is making that fish react. Yeah, got it. Everything that they do to that bait, when you're getting 20 of that happening over and over again in the morning, you draw so much information. All of this stuff is different now because of what I've learned from throwing this one tool. Not only changes the way that we approach a waterway, 
we're now able to go out on those bright sunny days and know that those fish are, are pushed into little pockets of, of that duckweed or hiding in any little thing that they can find exactly. and be able to chuck that. There was one thing that we can put in there. Light is a massive driving factor for it. The high sunlight and yeah, those really, really bright days is driving the fish to a particular cover into a targetable area. It becomes like shooting fish in a barrel. Looking for one cod in the size of a swimming pool when you're throwing in a big deep hole or whatever it might be, say, you know, stump field or something like that, or a rock pile. Hoping that your lure goes past and you have the right cadence, the right lure, all that sort of thing, you give it a trigger. Going from that to looking for a cod the size, of that, size of that table. It's completely predictable. When the sun's up, he's in there in the shade, he can get to it, why wouldn't he? Yep, yeah. oh, it's a good one. Oh, he's got his sticks. It's doing things we didn't think possible. You might get it to happen a handful of times in your lifetime, and you will always remember, you go, oh, Remember that time we got them to bite top water all day? How crazy was that? And when it used to happen to us, it was all we talk about for weeks, you know what I mean? It was just absolutely crazy. And then now, it's, it's every, it's every, it's every trip, it's every trip, as long as the sun's out. It just goes down and it's phenomenal. Got him! Yeah! Biggin! Whoa! Don't get me wrong, there are no rules yeah. in fishing, that's for certain. But speed triggers. When you put that pace into it, it tickles every single one of their senses that they just don't seem to be able to deal with. It's not necessarily about aggression a lot of the times, it's that pace, it's part of that curious nature that every animal has. But because it's going quicker and, and things like that, it just triggers a response from them. It makes them think faster. We're walking past these spots that now we're just we're targeting. We're walking past what we used to fish with spinnerbait, and we're looking for the spots that one, two foot deep, floating cover, and we're just you know punching away with these frogs. He's there. Got him. Got him. Yeah, quick, get in, get in, quick. Oh. It's not an inconsistent variable technique. It, it, it's the most consistent way to catch Murray Cod that I have ever come across, and that's regardless of where you are. Yeah, got him. It's ridiculous. Absolutely.
absolutely ridiculous how consistent it is and it's because they cannot differentiate, the fish cannot differentiate between this and what they think it is. It only takes that one time to put it in that pocket of dark weed or that, that whatever, whatever yeah, sort of floating cover it was, it's only in a foot of water and it just exposes them, like it just exposes them every single time. You're gonna have to drive this lecky bro. Oh, I'm in trouble here. All the way in the pipe. Let him there, let him there. Yeah! yeah. Oh yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yep! I cast wide twice. He's all right. Got him that time. It works really, really well with big fish. These together, this handful of lures, like are absolutely destroyed, covered in teeth marks because we have the days that we do have on these things and it's, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. that frog comes through, it just overwhelms it. That just, it it's so real. Amazing. Wild River Murray Cod. That was ridiculous. Yeah, there's one in there. <laughs>